Oh, Margaret, you don't know what it does to me being near you all day in surgery, only able to touch you through rubber gloves. Hi. Uh, we were just um, going over tomorrow's duty roster, the one on my desk. He means yesterday's duty roster tomorrow. Never mind. I've got something serious to discuss. Well, Sir. What is it? Uh, a Captain Hildebrand showed up today from headquarters in Seoul. He's a psychiatrist, and he's here on Clayton's orders. Now, it is my guess that someone in this unit has been rat thinking to the general on the sly. It wasn't me. Anyway, it's my duty to. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with reporting the unmilitary posture of your command, Colonel. Just let me remind you, Mrs. MacArthur, that if this unit gets split up, it might just happen that we all get split up, which means that you and Dr. Burns here will have to stop practicing medicine together. And whatever else it is you've been practicing. <laughs> Can a guy have a wash and set without somebody biting him on the neck? Biting who? I was biting you. No, you weren't. You were biting me. Klinger, what are you doing in here? Just borrowing a little of your shampoo, Major. It's wartime. We all gotta help each other. No, we don't. You get out of here, you pervert. Pervert? Who been who, Major? <laughs> I've had enough of his shenanigans. I'm going to talk to Henry. I want that freak out of this outfit and out of the US Army. Oh, Frank, you're so exciting when you get all riled up and decisive. I oh, am? Yeah? Frank, would you like to bite the real thing? We <laughs> demand this wedding be stopped immediately. Oh, shut up, Major. Uh, did you hear that? I certainly did. Are you going to let him talk to you that way? <laughs> Finally, you're going to command this outfit. Everything's happening so fast. Oh, discipline. Adherence to regulations, a taut ship. I love tautness. <laughs> to command is your destiny. <laughs> oh. oh, I can feel the power surging through your veins. Am I really surging? Oh, Frank, you'll be magnificent. I just wish I'd taken ROTC in school. I wasted so much time in the stamp club. I thought you were president. Well, that wasn't leadership. They needed someone to lick the stamps, and I had the biggest tongue. <laughs> Frank, do you doubt your ability? Mm. Do you want to see how sure I am of your ability? Well, all great men have their doubts. They say going up San Juan Hill, Teddy Roosevelt was worried sick about breaking his glasses. Look, darling. I've been saving it for you. Well, I haven't been promoted yet, Margaret. <laughs> Out goes Major Burns. In comes Colonel Burns. Oh, Margaret, I think I'm surging. <laughs> bring Colonel Blake's absence. I will act in his capacity. So, if there are any problems, you may bring them to me or to our fine adjutant here, Major Houlihan. And talking to the Major is the same as talking to me since we are intimate with each other at all times. You're being replaced, sir. What? Outrageous. It's completely unfair. Oh, no, Major. This is uh, not an unusual occurrence at all. I mean, this is the way the Army is run. After all, we are all merely cogs in a giant military medical machine. Each cog occasionally has to lose a tooth on the gear of life. Now, um, if you'll all excuse me, I'd uh, best prepare for the change of command. Frank, you took that so well. I'm very proud of you. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. It was a blow below the belt. Oh, well, we've both had our share of those. <laughs> I mean, my wife. Pass off! You'll all be sorry when I'm gone! You'll see! <laughs> <laughs> 